Hey, babe. Yeah, baby. What's up, my no. neck? What What are we gonna say? Mm, mm, mm. I'm not buying that for one second. I know that you walk around that house using the N word in front of her. That woman just let you degrade her and disrespect her and her ancestors in front of millions of people for likes and shares and for white validation. And do you really think I believe you're not using the N-word in front of her? Psh, boy, bye. <laughs> Oh, so fabulous. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel once again. It's your girl Dumebilia. If this is your first time coming across my channel, you're welcome. I do hope you decide to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys know that I love you. It's so good to have you here. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing okay today. So before I get into the video, my usual disclaimer, this video is strictly for educational purposes. Please do not go searching out the people that I talk about in this video. Do not send them any form of hate, hate comments, threats, or violence. This channel does not support any of that. So we're going to be talking about this interracial couple. This time around, we have a black woman, white man couple that we're going to be talking about. And whew. <laughs> so I came across this video that they made. I think it was on the last day of Black History Month. It was on 28th that I saw it was posted. So yeah, they made this video. That video is one of these videos that get me thinking like, mm, uh, it's kind of like you're walking on a thin line, like people can get offended by it and people can take it as a joke. It's kind of those videos that you just don't know, at least, I don't know, I don't know. So um, people commented on that video, but that aside, they made, there's a second video, that one has been deleted, but people obviously duetted that video before they deleted that video. And it was when I saw that second video that I was like, okay, no, we need to talk about this because these jokes, let me play the video. So yeah, it took me a while to understand that video because I just saw a man pulling a hoodie over his head. And I'm like, what could that mean? Until I remembered, uh, I remembered the Triple K people. I probably can't say the full name of those group of people on this channel because YouTube is very strict with these things. But the Triple, but those those people with the white gown, the white flowy gowns, and then the white cloak over their head, that kind of made life difficult for black people. Those are the people he's referencing in that video as a response to someone talking about prominent people in black american history and he posted that it's problematic enough to post that just as a palm colored man then it's more problematic posting that when you're a palm colored man who has a black wife anyway let me play people's responses to those two videos and then we'll come back and talk <laughs> So wait, weren't you the one that made the video with your black wife and your ancestors coming back and asking you how much you paid for your black wife and you were like, what the fuck? I know I'm right. You're, you're, you're that one. Little jokey jokes and little rage farming and it'll hurt nobody, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to assume that this video is about race who claim they have black friends and they bring up, you know, Black History Month shit and they're like, oh, fuck that! Showing their anti-blackness. Can I assume that? I'd really like to assume that. But of course, when you assume, you make an answer to you and me, so ha <laughs> let's see what you say! Comment sensitive, I don't care, the views are a little bit weird to me. It's the fact that she saw him make that video, edit that video, Post that video and she's like mm -hmm, yeah definitely the one definitely the one no it's weird and it's like i don't know me personally 
I feel like I'm gonna have a little trouble if they're a white person because I'm like, I feel like a lot of white people who date black people think they got all these different passes to do all these different things because they're a black person. No, you're still at the end of the day. Let's not forget that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anyways, this reminded me of this Jubilee video I saw where it had like all these different um, interracial couples and they're like on a little spectrum line, agree, disagree. If you know, you know. And there was one gay couple, he was black, he was white, and they were talking and the black guy was like, oh yeah, my white boyfriend called me an angry black man once in an argument. Mm -hmm. Like, if that happened on her body, I'm sorry, like. This is white man pulls up. I'm not racist. I have a black wife and she thought it was okay to do. He pulled the I'm not racist. I know someone black card. Guess what? It was still racist. You, you and her need help. You both need to go to therapy. You and her both need to read some history books. And if you want, I can include a full book list of books that both of you dumb fucks need to read. Because shit like this was not okay. And you know it was not okay. Fuck a comprehension skill. Fuck a comparing skill. Slave trade jokes or slavery jokes by a white man or white person in an interracial relationship is wrong, you idiot. I'm glad we could have this talk. Go away. So let me get this straight. So the joke is, um, now that Black History Month is over, your black friend asks you if you want to know some facts about some uh, some black leaders. And your answer to that is to become a clan member and... Can you explain to me, like, what's funny about that? Because I'm not laughing. I mean, 30,000 people are laughing, which is not really a flex for you, but um, yeah, can you explain to me the joke? I'd love to hear your reasoning as to why you think this is funny. Because it's not even dark humor. You're literally in the video punching down. Maybe delete this. But y'all wanted to say, oh, it was just a harmless joke a couple days ago when he was making slave jokes about his black wife. And I still see some of y'all pathetic ass coons in his comments right now talking about It's funny, I'm black and it was funny, people need to lighten up Harriet should have left y'all ancestors behind He's kind of quiet, but his body aches. The more I see content like this, the more I'm just like, is it obsession? Are you shits obsessed? Biologically and historically, just obsessed with it, dude Because who is this content for? I don't understand, that's not a joke that I would make about my relationship with my partner and put it out onto the internet. Like, I don't understand why you would include everyone in a room as big as the internet in on this bizarre, sick, un unnecessary joke. The insistent and pathological need to remind everybody in the chat that your ancestors would not approve of your union is weird. We believe you, at least I do, because clearly and obviously you are the strongest and the most accepting out of all of your ancestors here in the 21st century. But I mean, like, let's just entertain this absolutely ridiculous reality for just a millisecond and let's romanticize just what exactly Peepaw would actually say. Y'all really out here, full hood and all, making the rest of us have to apologize for you. Why are we like this? Why are we fucking? I am so sorry to everybody who is not a member of the Maneo Menagerie. I am so fucking sorry for my people. I just... I... I got nothing. Why do I have to hurt this man's feelings? It's just a joke, bro. Okay, I usually ask you to, but I'll explain it. On March 1st, a friend of yours asked you something about Black History Month, so you put on a triple K hood and beat him up. That's the entire joke. Ha ha ha, very funny. And I'll say this as a generalization, and I mean it with all of my heart. White men who are not professional comedians are not funny. Because this is all you have, is punching down. Because this is what you think comedy is. And I'll tell you where it comes from. The reason why you hear guys make anti-Semitic jokes, transphobic jokes, homophobic jokes, misogynistic jokes, racist jokes, is because they are legitimately 
afraid of those groups. Like, I don't mean in a spiritual sense. I mean, piss their pants, have nightmares afraid. Do you know in the 40s, they used to tell stories that Jewish people breathed fire or black people had super strength? It's because y'all are afraid of us. Afraid. And this is why I can never, ever, 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 ever date a white American. That's it. Because when they, there's no way this is funny. There's no way this is cute, hilarious, dark humor. And I'm not even mad at the white man. I expect him to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Because somebody that looked like me, mm -mm, let him know he was super cool. I don't, like I said, I don't blame him. I blame her. I blame her. Because that there, there's no way that that's how much. Get the f out of here. That shit ain't funny or cute. That's why you can't let them be too comfortable. I have a couple of good white friends. I'm telling you. But I don't know what they do with their other black friends. But they know what not to do with this black friend. Bitch ain't... <sighs> yes, we get it. You didn't buy your wife. Now, please, just say you love her. Just say you love her. You don't need to talk about how... My answer is they would have bought you, but bet you know I'd never do that to you. What the fuck? I'm sorry, do you genuinely think that joking about slavery is okay? As a white person? Why do they always feel a need to make reference to the point where black people were being treated as animals? To the point where black people were put through all those very difficult, harsh things. Why do they make reference to those times and make it a joke? There's nothing funny about that. There's nothing funny about that. And it's more heartbreaking to, to find out that it looks like the, the, the sister he's married to actually approves of it because she can't say she doesn't know. When I looked at their page, it kind of looked like I saw a lot of videos of them together. So I don't know if it's a couple page they are running together because they use the hashtag interracial couples. I think that's kind of like what people are doing these days. I think it's the in thing for interracial couples. Like it's, it's an in thing right now. Everybody that's an interracial couple is popping off on social media. They are creating their own channels. They are getting views and stuff like that. So a lot of them are jumping on that bandwagon. So I know both of them show up on TikTok together and they get views and then they make jokes and they make jokes like that. You guys, um, just let me know what you think. I feel like at this point, people should know what they should and they should not do when you're with, you know, someone from another race. Sometimes it makes me wonder the kind of conversations that these people have, these people in interracial relationships, because some things are just not okay. Some things are a no-go area. They are too sensitive. Just like those videos, especially the one with the white hoodie. But then, I really want to hear what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comment section. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, turn on notifications. That way YouTube will let you guys know whenever I have a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.